Hey guys, how's it going? Tess back again with episode number four of the Home From Home series with Gianfranco Zola. Now, of course, in the previous episode, we replaced Andrea Pirlo with Frank Lampard. We now have three Chelsea players in the starting 11. We've moved Marquisio from left centre mid to right centre mid so that uh, Frank can link up with second in form JT and Ashley Cole. In the first game of this, the, the episode, we come up against uh, a team in the same formation as us, so they might cancel each other out, but it's a, a decent, cheap-ish Bundesliga side with, uh, of course, David Alaba in there being the, uh, the main standout player with Wiedenfeller in goal as well. Transferred Kevin De Bruyne at centre forward. So uh, a decent, decent team. And I was looking forward to trying to uh, to get myself uh, a decent result against this. And we were able to get ourselves off to a good start. Uh, unfortunately for him, the rebound comes to Horton and Church. He's able to, uh, to put in the header after the goalkeeper. Well saved from Frank Lampard. But uh, just a few minutes later, we're going to put together a really nice flowing passing move. Actually, Cole's going to be involved coming up here from left back. And he's going to play a nice one too with Gianfranco Zola on the turn. Breaks into the box. Decent first time shot. Unfortunately for him again, the rebound is going to kill him off. We're going to take a 2-0 lead. Great finish from De Rossi, sending the keeper the wrong way. You would expect he's going to go for near post there, but he didn't. He pulled it back across goal towards that far post. It's a really intelligent finish, it has to be said. And then we take a good 2-0 lead. We're going to try and make it 3 before half time if we possibly can. Lampard twisting and turning. Try and find Zola. Gets in behind. It's a great save. And is it going to trickle in the bottom corner? No, it's not. It's going to go out for a corner. Wiedenfeller can breathe a sigh of relief. But not for too long. Frank Lampard's going to whip in a corner. He's going to find Zola on the edge of the box. Decent first touch. Fantastic strike. But Wiedenfeller's on hand to make an even better save this time to keep us out. So we go in at half time at 2-0. But whilst the the second half of the uh, of the game is playing out. I'm going to say, unfortunately, along with the uh, the interactive Rota Division One series that finished during the week on Wednesday, we had the last episode of that. This is going to be the last episode of the Home from Home as well. Unfortunately, it's just not doing as well as I'd hoped. It's in fact doing even worse than the interactive Rota Division One series. Uh, the career mode is getting like 1,200 views a day or an a video, and this one is getting. 200 views a video two to three to four hundred it's just not worth uh you know the effort of my of my time and uh, energy making this series so uh, it's going to be coming to a close this will be the uh, the final episode again i do apologize to those of you that do enjoy this series but uh it's uh, you know you guys have to understand that i am trying to grow my channel as well as put decent content out for you uh, for you guys to watch so we'll still have the world cup series that will continue to go on from uh, from strength to strength as we finish the uh, that series running up towards the uh, the world cup i may you know put together a squad builder an expensive squad builder a week or something like that just to have some ultimate team content on the channel but uh, it's mainly going to be career mode orientated with, of course, the uh, the player career mode coming in that we had the first episode of yesterday. If you missed that, feel free to check the channel page. That's going to come in alongside the Atletico Madrid career mode series, which is doing tremendously well. So uh, I'm delighted with that. And hopefully, you know, the new player career mode can do just as well as that. But we've made the change. We bought an Eden Hazard for Stefan El Sarawi. So thank you to Super Dragon Boy for the suggestion of Eden Hazard. Drop me a, a private message on YouTube with uh, a player that you've put up for sale for three days for 15k and I will buy him out. So well, you won yourself 15,000 coins. Well done for that. But the second game we come up against is just the most phenomenal team. Cristiano Ronaldo at left wing, Messi up top with Di Maria out wide, Modric probably the best centre mid in uh, in La Liga this season alongside Iniesta and Xavi in midfield and an extremely strong defence as well with uh, Sergio Ramos and Dani Alves and Marcelo in there alongside uh, Mascherano and then Casillas in goal. Just one of the strongest sides I've ever come up against, but we've uh, we've done quite well recently against the likes of Ronaldo and uh, Messi and Ibrahimovic. It's weird. I've never really come up against players of that sort of strength in uh, in any series ever on Ultimate Team, but we've played against a Ronaldo or a Messi or an Ibra in like each of the last five games, apart from the, the earliest one in this episode, which is really weird. And Messi here takes a dive. I don't care what anyone says. There is no contact there between John Terry and Lionel Messi. He's bought the penalty, pops it into the back of the net. And unfortunately we take a one nil, uh, not defeat, but you know, a one nil deficit in uh, the opening stages of this game. Let's try and get ourselves back on level terms. So Marquisio breaks free. Unfortunately, he isn't able to uh, to make the the chance count after bustling the defender out of the way. He's able to win a corner, though. Frank's going to whip it in. Chiellini is going to go up. Not able to get on the end of it. Eden Hazard finds himself on the edge of the box. His first shot in the series and his first goal as well. On his debut, absolutely superb. Eden Hazard has been such... A beautiful player to play with. He really is worth every single penny of that 182,000 coins. He's so good on Ultimate Team. Even better than he is on career mode in that Chelsea career mode we've just finished. 
been really, really impressed with him. And that is a fantastic strike to get him off the mark for me. And us back in the game at 1-1. But Ronaldo is going to break away now. He's going to try and find himself a, uh, a chance on his left foot. Good save. Messi with the header. He's going across into that far bottom corner. But Marquette is able to get across himself and make sure that we stay at 1-1. He isn't able to get himself into the lead for a second time. Mistake from Dani Alves. Hazard rips the ball across. Ooh. What a save for Mika Casillas. Point blank. Absolutely fantastic reactions from the header from Churchy. I've no idea how he's managed to pull that off. But regardless, we stay at 1-1. We're going to whip the ball in with Frank again from the corner. De Rossi goes up with a header and it flashes past that far post. And we aren't able to get ourselves in front yet again. So, in at half time we go with the score at 1-1. Chances, uh, you know, for each player in, uh, in this game. Chances at both ends. So, we're going to have to be... At our, at our best yet again in the second half to make sure that we come out with a victory from this one as well as the first game. And now we're going to try and do that down the left-hand side with Zola. He's going to find Hazard again on the return with a 1-2. Great strength to shove away Sergio Ramos and Dani Alves. And it's only another world-class save from Ike Casillas that denies him his and our second from the game. But we're on the attack again, but get caught on the counter-attack. Di Maria gets played through by Lionel Messi. So much pace. Plays the ball across. It was initially intended for Ronaldo, I think, but Messi kind of takes it off him. It's a tame shot, and Marquette is able to gather the ball into his chest, and uh, we stay alive in this game. And he's going to try and catch me on the counter-attack again with Ronaldo into Messi here, into stoppage time. But we're going to get the ball off him. We kind of force him wide with Messi here, and we're able to clear it. We're going to catch him on the counter-attack once we've uh, finally tackled Xavi, get the ball off him with Frank. And if you look at the bottom of your picture, you're going to see Churchy breaking in just now on the bottom side, on this right-hand side. Yeah, unfortunately, he's, just, he's so weak, Churchy. He gets shoved off the ball so easily every single time. But uh, Marcelo doesn't get the ball clear. Churchy finds himself with the ball again. Lovely turn inside. Finesse with the left foot into that back of the net. Gorgeous. He wins it for us late on. Plus two was the minutes added on. Have a look what it says on the end slate. 95th minute. Of two minutes added on, he scores in the fifth. It was ridiculous that there was that much time added on, but I'm glad that there was because that was what we needed to win the game. So that's exactly what we did. This is how the team is going to look as we end the series, unfortunately. I do apologise again to you guys for ending the series early. It's just not viable for me as a content creator to continue putting out a series like this when it's just not getting the views. It's uh, it's more, wor more worth my while to create a series that is going to still entertain you, but alongside that bring in the sort of views and uh, attention that is going to help the channel grow in the long run so that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully you can uh, you can understand where i'm coming from with both this and the interactive road to division one series but we'll be back tomorrow with more atletico madrid career mode thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time